Hi everyone, Neil Malik from Knack Training here bringing you another Everyday Office video. In today's video, I want to talk to you about custom PowerPoint layouts and custom PowerPoint placeholders. So let me give you an idea of what we're trying to accomplish here. On this slide, you can see that over on the right, I've made a, a little grid um, a little of diamond shape pictures. And you might say to yourself, that's good, bad, or indifferent. That doesn't really matter. What matters is that if I built this once, and maybe this is sort of the branding for my company that we do a lot of diamond shapes for our images, um, having to do this again and again and again would get really rather frustrating, having to recreate this slide a bunch. And because I've made this little grid here on this one slide, I'd probably end up like duplicating the slide and then taking the pictures out and putting new pictures in. But it's much better if I can go into the corporate theme for this PowerPoint presentation, if I can make a new layout that looks exactly like this one where there's text on the left and this little diamond shape of pictures on the right as a placeholder that's ready to take any pictures that you can imagine. So here's how you make that happen. In order to get into the slide layouts and make a new custom layout for yourself, you click on the View tab at the top of the screen, you click on Slide Master, which is uh, the sixth item from the left, and as you can see here, it drops you into something that kind of looks like your slide deck, but as you can see up here at the top, there is a Slide Master, the dominant uh, slide that makes everything look like this, and then the different layouts that inherit from that. And so you can see that on the slide that I just made, I started off with something that looked like this, where the text box was the full width of the slide, and then I went in and customized it by pulling this in and then dropping the little diamond shapes over here on the right. I don't want to do that. I don't want to take something that's not supposed to have a diamond of pictures and sort of jam that in there, I want to make something that's ready for that to happen at any point in time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the layout that's here called the title and content layout. As you can see right there, it's currently used by slide number two. <clears throat> I'm going to go up here to the top of my screen and either insert layout or I can just use my keyboard shortcut control D as in duplicate. So if I use control D as in duplicate, it makes me one underscore title and content layout, which is just basically exactly the same thing as title and content layout except it's the second one. Now, of course, I'm gonna to wanna to rename this. Up here, I click on rename and I'll put in here content with diamond image, images, something, and I hit rename. Okay, so now we have a layout that's starting from the same place, but that we can customize. So what do we do? Well, I wanted to bring that text box in from the right-hand side, like so. So there's text on the left, and then on the right, there's a little diamond grid of images. Now, if you know that those are always supposed to be images, I want you to start by going to the Insert Placeholder drop-down menu up here at the top and specifically uh, choose the type of placeholder for pictures. You can see here that you could just go with a generic content placeholder, which would allow you to put pictures and charts and tables and whatever else in there. But if this is specifically always for pictures, let's make sure that our coworkers always use pictures in here. So we go to Picture. And I go ahead and click and drag to draw myself a square, something like that. Hold down shift while you're doing it. And now here's the last step of this process. We need to crop this. So what we're going to do here is go up to the top of the screen, click the Edit Shape drop-down menu for this little uh, placeholder. Go to Change Shape, and now we can pick a diamond. Now we go ahead and we duplicate this, Control D to duplicate it, and we arrange it, Control D to duplicate it, and we arrange it, Control D to duplicate it, and we arrange it just like that. Okay, so you know, you do a little bit better job of making sure that that was a perfect little diamond grid there. That looks pretty good. Looks like this one needs to be lined up just right. Okay, so there you are. 
four diamonds arranged into a diamond grid and they all take pictures as part of a new layout in this theme. So now when I go to close master view up here at the top of the screen, use the new slide drop down menu, notice right there there's title and content and right next to it is content with a diamond images. Okay, and just like that I can click on this, add a picture, click on this one, add a picture, click on it, this one, add a picture, and click on this one and add a picture. And there it is. I don't have to make this custom every time. I don't have to take what was there already and uh, take it out and duplicate it or anything like that. Anytime I want one of these slides, I just go to my new slide drop down menu and I pick that layout that I invented specifically for this situation.